she's not lying on me about the drugs, but the drugs didn't have what she's saying about the drugs. So I'm telling you something, let me tell you something. But I just wanted to get up here for a minute and tell everybody, let everybody know, look, I'm not bothered by the, the negative comments, the negative things that you're saying about me. I don't care. If you feel that way, you feel that way. I, you know, I got to the point now, if I see it, I'm blocking it, getting it out of my way. I don't have time for it. Uh, I understand I got to do things on my own right now. I've talked to my wife. Well, I keep saying my wife, and she's not my wife, but she feels like she's my wife. But we have talked on numerous occasions, text messages, and... I don't see, I don't see us no time soon doing nothing. So, you know, I'm just going to go ahead and go on with my life and keep doing what I'm supposed to do. And that's entertaining you guys and being a comedian. Uh, I understand my followers following us because we was funny, you know, not because of our personal problems and personal life. So it is what it is. You can call me what you want. It's all good. I ain't mad about it. You know, so I pray every night. I pray every morning, not for just for me, for my fan base and my family and everybody else. You know, uh, I'm not that guy that, you, that that was put out there. People are saying about me. Uh, I know you get the you get the assumption of somebody talking about smoking dope. Uh, they all type of this. I never met. I never got to that stage with that. Uh, I never ran broke because of uh, because of the drug. You feel me? What's up, Jay Rock? I, you, I see you made it in. But anyway, you know, uh, I always handled my business first. I never neglected my wife. Uh, yeah, we could have had more things, but I always made sure she was first in my life. You know what I mean? I always made sure she was first. So it's all good. You know, I just wanted to get up here, man, and say thanks to the ones that's rocking with me, that's riding with me. I'm going to continue to do it. I'm going to turn up for show now. Uh, and then these little posters I be making, it's just to get your attention uh, about my wife and this, this, and that. I just like the way you guys respond to it. Uh, I'm in my house now. I'm working on a daily basis, trying to get my house back together like it's supposed to be. You know, uh, like I was telling my wife, baby, you know, a lot of I see a lot of people commenting, saying stuff like, well, you can't be shagging with your grandma and got a woman. I was never shacking with my grandma. Uh, we made a decision to come help my grandma because she's 99 years old. She can't even wipe her ass no more. You know what I mean? Uh, she can't even make a, a, a peanut butter jelly sandwich anymore because of her wrist. Her wrist has gotten weak, you know? And I felt like God will bless us as well as we come down and just check on my grandma, make sure my grandma was straight. You know, and we had this little house right here by our house next door to her house that we actually purchased from her. Um, I felt like, hey, we can stack our money, whatever we want to do. If anything happened to her, we're gone. You know, that's how I looked at it. And for her to get up there and say all these things, like we never had these discussions, really just f with me. You know, I'm going to tell you something. How she went off about the video really hurts my hurts my nerves because you know I that, that same day I woke up like two thirty in the afternoon, I called her and she was like uh I, I now I was like, have you guys eaten yet? And she was like, nah, I'm good. Uh you can check on your grandma and I was like, Grandma, I was like, You been there? I said it's two o'clock in the afternoon. You ain't went in there and checked on grandma at all? She was like, nah. So I was like, okay, I didn't want to start no arguments. So I called my grandma, I said, Grandma, you have you eaten anything? She said, no. I went over to the house. I asked her what she wanted to eat, spoke to everybody. And my grandma said, just fix me some cereal. So I fixed my grandma some, some cereal. Melissa asked me, why did I post about, about the pastor? And I said, Melissa, look, I don't want to argue with you. I'm just going to go ahead and leave. I walked out the door, came back over here, started cleaning and doing whatever I was doing. Next 15 minutes later, all I hear is, I'm so sick of him. I'm tired. I'm on the phone talking to somebody. So somebody somebody pushing this shit on in her head. You know what I mean? I know that because uh, she talks to a lot of people on a daily basis. But anyway, 
15 minutes later, I just heard her storming out. I'm like, I didn't know what was going on. I said, hey, what's going on? I'm sick of you. I'm sick. I'm like, what the fuck I done, done now? Then five minutes after that, I see a video post. Well, I didn't see one of my partners say, hey, man, what's going on over there? I was like, well, what you mean what's going on over here? He's like, man, Melissa on live, man. She talking about you like a dog. I'm like, what? So I goes up there and I check it out. Boom, boom, boom. I never asked her why she even did it. You know, I don't understand. So you're going you're gonna to tell me that you did it because I post something about somebody else that we had business with and his name is on my accounts, my Facebook accounts as the owner, and I'm not, and I'm not supposed to be mad about it? You saying I, all I do is keep up mess? I never kept up mess. I don't even play mess. You the one kept up the mess. You the one was telling always in the people business and always talking about this, this, and that. I just tell you, man, leave that stuff alone. Get out them folks' business, man. Let them folks live. You know what I'm saying? You know, like you're her kids. Her kids knew all our problems, but never, we never knew their problems. If they had an argument, we never knew about it. And I was like, you don't even, your kids don't call you when they get into it. You got to hear it from somebody else. Why are you doing that? You're talking to everybody else, but you should be talking to me. We should be discussing that, you know. But, hey, it is what it is, man. I'm not going to cry about it, lie about it. I'm just going to keep moving. Thought you had a friend. No, nah, that was a video that my partner in Montgomery, he had cut my hair once. And uh, I'm always showing love. Uh, if you're in Montgomery, you go you know, look up Corey and get your hair cut if you're in the Montgomery area. Sweating like it. <laughs> I'm in here cleaning, man. I got the Clorox in the water. Just got through. I cooked today some baked chicken and stuff. And now I'm trying to clean up the kitchen. Hey, man, I'm trying to stay on a positive note. Uh, people already hit me back up for advertisement. When she, was, and, and she got up there and said, y'all don't, I won't even give him no advertisement. I mean, why would you down me like that, man? I always been rocking with you, man. You always was the first to ever get paid. You got paid before I got paid on several occasions. Why is you down to me, man? We both came from nothing and not have none of anything. When I met you, you was working at Walmart. You helped me get a job at, at this brick masonry plant. And I was there for six years paying all the bills before the company even started. Man, you always been number one in my life, man. If somebody says something about you, man, I get mad as hell. When he like my pops, my pops was trying to tell me certain things because he knew people down in that area or whatever. And he heard, you know, and I'm like, that. I don't want to hear what nobody told you. I don't want to hear that. He say, she say, from my eyes, she the best thing I ever had. That's how I felt, you know. So, you know, that's why I don't understand all this. And why she came at, I, I, to me, it looked like an, for an attention brief, brief you know what I'm saying? I, that's the only, only thing I can say. That's the only thing I see. Kill me, kill me with the fan base, and she gained everything. And that's fine if that's what you want to do. But be honest about it. You know, don't tell people I got you homeless, man. When I know for a fact, I know you, I know what I have. Every time we ever got paid, I had to take you to go meet your son so you can give your son your money to put in the bank, to put up for you. I, you know, so I'm not trying to tear your business, but you put me out there to the fact that what else I supposed to do? She might not, hey, Miss Denise, she's not lying on me about the drugs, but the drugs didn't have what she said about the drugs. Sometimes, let me tell you something. Sometimes people uh, uh, see you have a weakness and they'll use that weakness for their gainers. You know what I'm saying? Okay, like you might see somebody on drugs, but that person probably don't bother nobody. That person probably, you don't see him begging, you don't see him asking nobody for nothing, you don't see him stealing nothing, but he probably got a drug problem, right? So, some people say, oh yeah, he on drugs, oh yeah, he steals, he do this, he do that, he do this, you know what I'm saying? Come on, man, we are, we've been getting money over here. You know, I might have a lot of my money, I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to say a lot. Yeah, but I don't ask you for nothing because I know how to make my own money. I always make my own money. You know, so it is what it is. Uh, like I said, man, I'm not going to worry myself over this. I'm going to keep it moving. Thank you. You both are in our prayers. I appreciate that. 749 up here. 
There's three sides to every story. Stop putting your wife on. Look, 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 man. I'm not putting. Man, let me tell you something, man. I won't even say nothing about my wife. I never have just got up here and, and try to down my wife. I love my wife. You feel me? I'm not going to get up here and just down her for no reason like she did me. Why my neck sweating? Because I'm over here watching, cleaning. I'm cleaning. I'm in the process of cleaning. Staying focused. Staying busy. So, you know, that's what I had to get up here and say, man. Uh, 